Hello my friends. Let me show you how I make rawhide from a deer skin. After fleshing a new hide, that is scraping any fat and tissue off the inside, I soak the hide in water with a lye solution. And the lye that I use is a purchase can of uh, lye, uh, which is a drain cleaner. Uh, what the natives would typically do is take a wet hide and take the white ashes from a fire and saturate, load the, the hair up with the ashes, roll it up and leave it set. Here I shortcut all that and soaked it in the lye solution for five days to a week. And right now I am in the process of rinsing the lye solution out. You can see I'm wearing rubber gloves, lies very caustic, I have glasses on, you want to use extreme care when dealing with this. This has been in the solution for three days and you see the hair is peeling off and it was coming off just spraying it with the hose. And what I'm going to do is use <clears throat> the back side of my uh, draw knife since it's kind of blunt and use this just to push all the hair off. Now, one reason I was spraying the washing it with the water was that lye solution is caustic, and uh, I wanted to dilute it, rinse it off. And I'm scraping this. This is about a five foot length of PVC pipe. It's the green, which is a, a drain pipe. And it's 12 inch diameter. You don't need to use this size. But it uh, makes it easier. I have my sunglasses on, but you need to wear glasses when you're working with this uh, caustic lye. Draw knife works great for this back side. If you use the other side, you'd probably be cutting the flesh. We're scraping right through that epidermis, taking that right off. The advantage of using this large uh, pipe is the skin sticks pretty tight to it. That's just about all the hair. Now what the natives would have done, instead of going to the hardware and buying lye, they would have used some wood ashes. So they make their hominy also. They soak it in wood ashes and that makes lye solution. That's it. Now we need to stretch it and dry it. And we got our rawhide. If you're going to make uh, leather, you'd still have to do the same thing and make sure you get all that epidermis off. And uh, I 
right there. And then that would take the oils. A little bit of cleaning and we're done. Secure to the corner. What I'm going to do is do one side, then fasten that side off, and then go to the opposite side, stretch it, and then I'll go to the ends. I'm going to use an exacto knife and cut the holes, and this will give me. A slot that will be pretty uniform just by pushing it in. And what I'm going to do is poke that through the hole. And I'm taking a hobby pin and hooking on there. And you could use a stick, but I use a bobby pin so that it'll hold it while I'm. Uh, adjusting the rope and making the next slot. Then what I'm going to do is come underneath and do the same thing rather than go looping around. Here you can see how I'm attaching the cord to the height. <clears throat> I'm using the X-Acto knife. I have the blade parallel to the edge of the skin. I push a hole. It creates about a half inch wide slot. I poke the end of the cord through making a loop. Then I attach the closed pin into the loop. I'm tensioning the uh, hide and then I'm going to secure the end uh, to the frame. Here I'm securing the last corner of the hide. I'll go around and check, make sure that all of the uh, cords are tight, that it's stretched uh, evenly all the way around the perimeter. I'm standing the frame up vertically so air can get to both sides of the skin and dry evenly and quicker. Now I have to let it dry and then I'll scrape the hide clean of any tissue that's still remaining on it. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye bye.